Step 1. Download a Wrath of the Lich King client. I'm going to be using Warmain. I'll drop the link in the description below. Hit download. Select expansion, Wrath of the Lich King. I'm going to be using Windows. We'll be downloading it through a program called BitTorrent. If you don't already have BitTorrent, all you have to go is go to Google, type in BitTorrent, hit download, hit select your operating system on the right side, hit download now. It will try to get you to download other things while you're installing it. And we don't want that. So, gonna hit next, hit next again. This part you're gonna hit agree to, but this part, if, you, if I would've hit next, it would've installed this random software. I don't know anything about this software. I don't know if that's malware or anything, but I'm just gonna hit uncheck that box, hit next. Here again, it's trying to get me to install McAfee. I'm gonna uncheck that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next to download it. But I've already have that installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit the installer. So I've already had the World of Warcraft client installed on my computer. And the first thing you wanna do is right click it, go under properties, and uncheck the read only box, hit apply and okay. Otherwise you won't be able to change your realm list file. If you don't know what that is, we'll talk about it later. Next thing you wanna do, but I would go through AC web, Ultimate Repack, as you can see there's different versions of World of Warcraft, so if you want to do a Legion, then you can go ahead and do, I think 7.7 is either Cataclysm or Legion, I'm not quite sure. But we're going to go ahead and do 3.3.5a. As you can see here, this is the, the version that we downloaded, so we're going to go ahead, go down this big list until we see Private Donuts Post. Hold down control and click on this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're gonna go here, download this, download this, download this, this, and this. I already have them downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that. We'll minimize that. So they might come in RAR files, like this one right here, and you would just extract that. If you can't extract it, then we're gonna download WinRAR. This is a free program that's very easy to download and install. I can drop a link to that below in the description as well. Download that and then you can unzip this and you're good to go. We're going to go into here to AC Web Repack, go into the core folder, into data, and we're going to drag these four things that we downloaded off that website and we're going to put them into the core data. Now once we're done that, we're going to open up Wrath of the Lich King, the data folder, ENUS, go into the realmlist.w2f, we're going to open with, hit notepad, mine already shows, so yours will probably say like warmain.logon. whatever it says, but you're just going to want to change it to 127.0.0.1. This just means this address is you, so this is yourself. So you're going to be setting it to connect to yourself. So the next thing we want to do is go to AC Web Repack, go under Server, open up MySQL. We're going to wait till it shows the version, then that's good to go. If it shows anything but version, like it's have it saying error or anything like that, usually just a closed and try to see if anything's running in the background that would block that. Maybe try restarting your computer if that doesn't work. Or maybe just leave a comment in the description. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And then next you'll want to go back into the core folder. Open up the blue one first. Realm added Budapest. This will probably say something else for you. This will be a different address for you as well. We'll go under world server. This will take approximately three to four minutes, maybe less. All right, so now that it says ready at the end right here, we can go ahead and create our first account. We type in account create, user, pass. Now, if you wanna be a GM, you're gonna type in account set 
GM level, the name of the user, and minus one. Now, if your username is like Jake, then you would type in Jake. But the, the user we're using is just called user. So, this basically means this number right here can be a one, a two, or a three. A three means you have full admin privileges in the game. A one just means you're a normal user. A two means you're a GM with some privileges, but you can't do a lot of things. I'm just gonna set this to one because I'm not gonna be deleting this. If anybody's watching this, they can go ahead and sign into my user my server at any time with these login credentials. So next thing we're gonna do is there's this file called worldconf and this is the configuration of everything in your server. So I'm gonna change the format here, the font, calm it down a little bit. If you type in control F, type in rate.xp here we can change a lot of things. We can change how much XP you gain, so it could be four times per kill, two times. So the default on everything is gonna be one. But I like to have five times XP when I'm exploring, two times when I'm questing, and just four times when I'm killing things. You can get drop rates, you got your honor rates, your talent. So this is like every time you level up you get three talent points instead of one. I just like to be every specialization because it's fun so I, I just put in a three so that way when I cap out at level 80 I have every talent that there is. There's reputation gain you know all this kind of stuff. You can even set the movement speed so I find the game to be pretty slow paced without a mount so I like to just increase everybody's default movement speed walking by just like 20% it just makes the game a lot more tolerable so anyways now I could go ahead I could go ahead and open up WoW right now sir and the password is pass so as you see I could go ahead and create a character right now I'm gonna name him pizza bacon pancakes Bam. Now I could log in and do whatever I want. But I have friends in Europe, I have friends in America, and I kind of want to play with them. So how do I play with my friends now? There's a few more steps now in order for you to play with your friends. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's make it simple. Let's go under the search bar and type in command prompt. Let's type in IP config. And now there's a whole bunch of numbers and letters around here. It might look a little bit confusing, but you're going to look for the section. See, these are all broken down into sections, like little text boxes, paragraph kind of things. You're going to look for the one that says adapter ethernet. So you're not looking for VPN or virtual box or anything like that. So just look for the one that says ethernet. Look for default gateway. Take this IP address 10.0.0.1. Yours will probably di be different, but you, we're going to stick this IP address right into the search bar right here and press enter. I'm with Shaw. You're going to be logging in with your username. You know, Shaw has like a blue curve app that makes it really easy to forward ports on the app. But if you don't have Shaw or if you have something else, or even if you do have Shaw, you could just do it through here. You can log in with your username and password. This is a username and password you would, you would use with your internet service provider. So I'm not sure what that is for you. But you would go ahead and forward the ports 8085 and 3724. Once you forwarded those two ports, we're going to go to a website called noip.com. The link will be down in the description below. I've already logged in. But all you gotta do is hit the sign up button and then you can sign in for a free account. And the free account is all you need. There's an account that you could spend $25 a year on or something like that, but you don't need that one, you just get the free one. So once you're signed in, you could type in the name of your domain. So mine's gonna be Budapest, or the host name I guess, dot zapto.com. Already taken, but that's because I've already created it here. So now here's your external IP address. So we're gonna go here, hit copy. So now that we have that copied, 
we're gonna go into the data folder of the local disk C. Go under Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. and opening this host file with Notepad. So now that we're in here, we're gonna go to the very bottom, press enter for a new line. We're gonna copy and paste that IP address, hit tab and type in budapest.zapto.org. So you won't be typing this in because that's my host name. So you're gonna type in whatever you have here. And now we go ahead and hit save. The next step, go back to Google and type in Heidi SQL. Or you can go under my description and look at the link. So in order to download this one, you have to disable your ad blocker on just this website. Hit installer and go ahead and install it. This one's quite easy to install. If you have any issues, leave your comment in the description below. So now we go into the AC Web Repack and we're gonna start with the MySQL just like last time. This shows the version, we're ready to go. So now, we're gonna open up the Heidi SQL that we just downloaded and installed. The user is gonna be root password A-S-C-E-N-T, ascent. And everything else can stay as default. We'll hit open. And now on the left side, these are all the database sections. The only thing we care about right now is hit this one, the auth, scroll down, go under realm list, over here in the tables, hit data. And the IP address by default is gonna say 127.0.0.1. And now for that address, we're gonna go back here to the my DNS. Copy this and put it right there. That's the same one we were using in that host file earlier today. Then for the name, this might default be Trinity, but I just put in Budapest and that's gonna be the name of my realm. So I'm gonna leave that as is. And I'm just gonna close out everything else. So now, what your friends need to do, go to that Warmain website and download the client. Then they gotta go into the properties, unhit, uncheck this read only. Then we gotta go into data, ENUS, and you know, yours says set realm list, but they gotta change theirs to, they gotta change theirs to that, except whatever you set to them. So I'm just gonna not save that because I'm just gonna leave it as is. And now I have this database open. I'm gonna keep this open. Open the blue one, the auth server for authentication open the red one for red server and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log in Now that we're logged in, I could press O, go to who, press refresh, and I could see that I've got a friend playing. Remember Bacon Pancake? So as we see on the map, he's way over here. That's pretty far. So I've got two choices. I can go Tela, dot Tela, Molgor, because that's the zone he's in. And you can use this teleport function to go anywhere you want. Dot tele you can do dot gm fly on. And remember, you can only do this if you activate it as the account set gm level 3. Dot mod speed 10.
And as you can see, now I can hang out with all my friends. Now thanks for watching guys.